it's you again. I'm guessing you're wanting a video. Well, in this one, we're gonna mess with putting an intake fuel pump in the Beetle, fuel lines from front to rear in stainless steel, and we're gonna do some E85 rated fuel lines. Check it out. close to where I want it. Make a little mark. This is a 532nd. Alright, right there's where we're gonna drill. There's a 10 30 second tap. Nailed it. Quarter inch drill bit. Pull the bolts out. So what we're doing right here is we're sucking this metal up to this flange to make it flatter. And then we're gonna put a couple tacks around here to hold this on. I ended up cutting this too short. Um, I'm gonna end up having to extend this somehow to get this uh, this little holding tank or whatever you wanna call it uh, closer to the bottom of the fuel tank. Um, but for now, it's gonna be good for mocking up purposes. So I'm not gonna throw in the, the fuel pump or anything like that. Yeah, I kinda messed this all up. So this stuff is uh, rated for E85. Roll over vent. So what I'm kind of thinking is I'm gonna mount this right here. I don't have the mount yet, but uh, whatever. So we're gonna come out of here, 90 into here, 90 into here, 90 out of this, come out this way and I'm gonna drop a bulkhead fitting right here in both where these nuts are. It looks like we'll have plenty of clearance around the tire, around the beam. I might end up changing this in the future, I don't know. But this is how we're gonna run it for now and whatever. So, if anyone has ever messed with these before, these are surprisingly budget friendly. Not. Um, every single fitting, I think the cheapest fitting I have here is like $7. And the most expensive is probably like $15. It's crazy. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna use this pre-filter. 
because there's a pre-filter already built in the tank on the pump. I ordered a bracket to mount this. So what I'm planning is to mount the filter right here. I'm just gonna run line from here to here and here to here. Um, so let's go for it. Let's, let's make these up and then uh, also get this made up as well uh, and see how that will look routed like that. So these fittings right here, these are the $14 or $15 a piece after shipping ones. And it's like, geez, man, these are expensive. Four of these is like 60 bucks. It's crazy. So that's kind of what, what I'm thinking. Guess what we need to do is just cut some pieces. off about an eighth of an inch. I feel like that'll help put this together. <clears throat> That's all the way to the end on the stop. I'm gonna throw this in a vise. I scratched it all up. So, so this hose took me like an hour to put together. The other one was like five, 10 minutes. This one, an hour. This nut right here, I could not get it to go past that little like ferrule and tie into the fitting and start tightening it down. Um, it was a bitch. Anyway, it's done now. I just hope that doesn't happen again because that was horrible. Alright, so this fitting or this fuel line kicked my butt too. Um, I'm starting to not like these. Uh, the little wire stuff that's hanging off of these things, man, they poke the crap out of you. Um, I don't know if there's like different variations of this hose, but this one has like a vinyl covering and then it goes to uh, stainless braid and then to the PTFE um, hose lining. Um, so I don't know if there's like different ones that are easier to put on or whatever, but this part right here is a, is a bitch. Like, I'm struggling with it, but uh, we gotta keep moving forward to get this damn thing rolling. Um, yeah, I hope, I, I, I kinda, te I put some pressure on these with a little tire pump, uh, just to see if they leak, and they don't seem like they're leaking, so we'll get all this put together and then pressure everything up and, and do a test before we actually put fuel on this, because uh, fires suck. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep going forward. All right, so here's the two bulkheads that are coming out. Um, the plan is to have them roll out and kind of come in front of the beam and then back under um, all the steering linkages and then drop to two more 90 bulkhead fittings that are going to go back to uh, hard line back through um, to the back rear of the car. Here's the fuel pressure regulator that I'm going to use. I can't remember what model number it is. It's a uh, 13129. I hope it's the right one. Whatever. We're just going to throw parts at this thing until we can't throw parts at it. So. This thing takes um, 3 8 O-ring boss fittings. So. Right. I'm kind of thinking about mounting this up in the corner. That way it's out of the way of everything. So let's go for it.
this is the return to the fuel tank and these two will be the returns from the, the fuel rails um, so this is kind of what I'm thinking this might change as we go along get on there but this is kind of going to be the beginning of the routing I guess even though there's no motor in here but we gotta move forward on stuff we can move forward on all right so here's the uh, the hard lines that I'm running um, I bet these up forever ago so yeah so there's a I got a little block here that holds two steel lines or stainless whatever and I've got those mounted periodically under the pan I think there's three of them on here um, one up on the front um, and then I'm gonna bulkhead up through the bottom of the the front of the car to hit those uh, other lines um, back here I still have to do uh, two more bends um, to make this right to where this will get sucked up um, so let's do that sorry if the lighting sucks but that's all I got right now so I've got two marks I don't know if I can see them but they're there's a mark right there and a mark right there with a sharpie and that's where I need to bend these two to start coming this way <laughs> uh, I swear I pushed record but it didn't um, this is the bender I used to uh, to bend it um, now it's bent it's just funny because I took the time set the camera up swore I pushed record and I didn't or I did and somehow it didn't whatever so anybody that wants to get those clamps um, they're called Behringer clamps and uh, I think they're pretty cool I can't remember what I paid for these I've had these for a few years uh, but it's a little block both sides um, you get a little nut here's the bolt I welded on the bolt but fit it on there and then just made it to where this, this it was kind of like a stud and then be like bloop and then bloop with the washer shit I don't even think I even used this I think it just used a, a fender washer on there and just all I wanted was the blocks you know what's pretty funny is is I bet these are 3d printable dude yeah that's funny because I have a 3d printer and here I am all right boom we got the Behringer clamp uh, I drilled a hole through the body um, ran a stud through and then caught the, the clamp so now we're mounted right there I think that looks pretty good it's out of the way um, gonna have to do some hard line um, tubing fittings to end up going to the hose so All right so we got the tanks ink in tank fuel pump mounted fuel filters in and we have the stainless hard lines run under the rear of the car we also have the fuel pressure regulator mounted which is right here Oh, is that a motor? Well, if you're new to this channel, like and subscribe to the content if you like it. Um, thanks. And uh, one other thing, if you can, if you know anyone that might be interested in this kind of stuff, please share it to them. They not, might not be seeing it, and this will really help me with my channel to grow. And uh, much appreciation. Thanks.